Hi, it's Nick from UK Gardening. Uh, we're getting to the end of April now. Uh, I've had my Ponsettia um, in the house on the windowsill since Christmas. And you can see that the, uh, the flowers, I was going to call them flowers, are actually just modified leaves. They're bracts. They change colour uh, in November time. You can see that they're actually reverting back now, or that the actual plant is actually growing through them. So I'm going to cut this back. don't normally do it, um, but I just thought uh, it's a good opportunity to just uh, try these things out. Um, so as I say, in uh, April you actually cut them back uh, to about uh, f four to six inches. So that's what I'm going to do. First of all, I'm going to get my secateurs and I'm going to sterilise them uh, with some methylated spirits. I'll just clean them with methylated spirits just to get rid of any, any fungus uh, that might be on them. It's a good idea to do this if you're if you're doing cuttings and things. Just clean the blades. Now what I want to try and do is come it above a leaf joint. So I'll go in here and give it an angle cut. Right, uh, I forgot to mention actually this is euphorbia. Now euphorbia or the sap from euphorbia can um, be an irritant uh, to the skin so um, if you get it on your skin it'll actually uh, it'll make it more sensitive to sunlight. So it's either um, wear gloves, um, certainly wash your hands after you've uh, been handling them. So I've just removed that from just above a leaf node. I'm just going to cut that bottom leaf off of there and then the, I'm actually going to pot these up. I think you, um, I'm going to treat them a bit like the corners or the dogwood that I did a couple of weeks ago and just treat them as uh, softwood, sorry, hardwood or stem cuttings. Um, so I'm just going to pop that. Uh, I will pop it into rooting compound and I've just had a look at the rooting compound and it said soak the uh, stems in uh, water first. So I'm just going to put that in there for the moment. I don't want the uh, the actual joint to uh, to heal over. So I'm just going to put that in the water. Actually I'll take a few more leaves off. One more. And pop that in there. Um, with any cuttings, if you're not going to plant them uh, straight away, put them in a bag with uh, with some uh, or wet cloth or a uh, yeah, wet rag. And the other thing I was going to say is I gave this a water first thing this morning. Um, it's always a good idea to give a plant uh, a good water before you're going to um, uh, prune it or to take cuttings from it. And that actually just allows the water in the morning, it, it'll take the water up through the roots, up through the plant and into actual into the cutting or to the small branch. Um, this one I'm going to take off again here, an angled cutting or an angled cut. This one here I'm going to cut just above this, there's a little shoot there. I don't know if you can see that. This one it'd be nice to take a cutting there's a little shoot here, sorry, a little shoot here, so I'm going to just cut in there. And there. Actually, I said earlier, these are hardwood cuttings, of course, that if you take them in the spring, they'll be softwood cuttings. Now, this one, that's I'll take that leaf out of there so I can see what I'm doing. Now that leaf, this one here, you can see that there's two shoots. There's one coming out this way and one going out that way. It's always preferable to cut to an out, outward facing growth because obviously if they're coming inwards, uh, then it's just going to leave uh, the plant to become more congested. And unfortunately I might, I might well lose that one, but um, I'll, I'll cut that in a minute. Let's just pop it in there. 
A little more there. Right, and that's about it. That's uh, quite a quite a difference, uh, as you can probably see. I'm going to take that out of there. Uh, a little bit of water left in there. I might actually pop this up into a slightly larger pot. Let's just check that out and see how pot bound it is. Yeah, it's quite pot bound. So what I'm going to do is while we're here, take a slightly larger pot. Put a few bits of old terracotta pot at the bottom just to aid drainage. So I'm just going to tease these roots apart a little bit. You don't want to break them up too much, but pop that in there. Actually, I've overfilled it a bit much. What I want to do is have the compost from the old pot at this, uh, just below the uh, the rim, so that you actually give a little bit of um, space for the for watering. So obviously, if the water comes right up to the rim, it'll just run off. Okay, so that's now done. Um, Potettias, if you if you buy them at Christmas time, it will say you always keep them indoors. They are susceptible to, to cold. They are a tropical plant, um, so they don't really like any, any temperature lower than 15 degrees. So you can put them out later on in the year. I wouldn't put them outside until perhaps after the end of uh, May, um, but they really want a constant temperature of between 15 and 18 degrees. Uh, so really put, keep them in the uh, greenhouse or conservatory or um, on, back on the windowsill. Come mid-September time, take them back into the house and then in November time to actually make them go red, you, uh, they need to only have say, a maximum of 12 hours daylight. So you actually need to cover them up or put them in a, a dark cupboard um, so they only have 12 hours of uh, daylight per day and then by Christmas you'll have the red backs again. So just uh, press this compost down. You can see that I've now got a little uh, watering ledge. So whenever you're transplanting anything or potting something on, give it good water. That makes sure that all of the soil is in contact with the roots and you don't want any air pockets in there because the roots will actually just die, die back then. So give it a good water. And um, I'll just pop that to one side for the moment and I'll get on with the cuttings. Um, Thanks very much for your time. If you've got any questions, please don't hesitate to post them below. Thanks. Bye.